March 1, First Sunday of Lent A Proclamation from the Holy Gospel According to St. Matthew Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he was hungry. The tempter approached and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. He said in reply, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and with your hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took him up to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their magnificence. And he said to him, All this I shall give to you if you will prostrate yourself and worship me. At this, Jesus said to him, Get away, Satan. It is written, The Lord your God shall you worship, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The Gospel of the Lord Facing the Temptations of Life Jesus is our model as Christians, both in all of life and especially during the season of Lent. Matthew, in the Gospel, narrates how Jesus is led into the desert, where he fasts and prays for forty days. Then the devil comes to tempt him, seeking to turn him away from his mission. Finally, Jesus commands the devil to live. Get away, Satan. Every year in the first Sunday of Lent, the Church gives us the Gospel of Jesus as temptations. They are also our temptations, real temptations. Jesus struggled against Satan's temptations. We are invited to do the same during Lent. We conquer the desire for material possessions and property through almsgiving. We combat the craving for popularity and prestige through fasting. We defeat the desire for power through prayer. Indeed, the traditional Lenten practices of almsgiving, fasting, and prayer will enable God's grace to enter our lives and conquer all the temptations we face. Thank you.